Three. Hello, this is Doug Redhouse, uh, and we are live with Ashton Tate for some training on in the Entrepreneur Journey Group for some training on the five mistakes. Is it every business owner makes in their health? Is, is that the name of the training? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Exactly. Awesome. So without further ado, um, I am going to let Ashton kind of tell you about who he is and then run with with the training. Yeah, totally. Thanks, man. It's fun to be here. Uh, you know, my, my name is Ashton Tate. If you don't know me, um, I own a company called Glory to Glory Fitness. And what we do is we partner with business leaders, business owners, entrepreneurs to outsource their health and take it off their table. So, um, so we do basically everything for them so that they can use their body. They can use their health as an asset to help them get better in business and life with their family, live longer, all that good stuff. So, um, so yeah, I want to teach you guys about the five mistakes I see most business leaders uh, making in their health. And a lot of them are, uh, there's going to be a couple of them that you're probably going to be familiar with. You're going to be like, oh yeah, I know that. I just need to do it. But there's a couple that you probably haven't thought about before. Um, and so what would be helpful for you to do as you're watching this training is to take notes, write them down. Um, I have the training as well. Uh, another video of me doing it and uh, slides if, if if you, if they want, want that as well, but, and just be able to reflect, um, you know, after what we talk about, take 10 minutes and just reflect and say, wow, what am I actually doing? Because here's the thing. Most of these mistakes probably aren't just being made in your health because your health, everything that you do, the actions that you take are bleeding into every other aspect of your life, your business, your family, everything else. So, so the first mistake we'll talk about uh, is that people have a vision in their business, but not for how their health and how will that, uh, and how their health will impact their, their family, their business in the future. And so what most people have, you know, we, we go on these crazy retreats for, for business and for, um, and for, uh, you know, for vision casting and mission and all this stuff. And we, we spend days, you know, doing, and it's like, we know exactly what we want for business or at least we should know that we need to know what we want for business, right? Like that's like the number one thing that people, you have to know where you're going. You have to have vision. You have to have that clear so that when things get tough, you can keep moving forward, right? But we do that in our business and people spend so much money and time, but then in our health, it's like, well, I'll just eat healthy. I'll just uh, go for a walk. I'll uh, just do, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'll, I don't know what I want to do. I just don't want to be fat. And it's like, there's no vision. You don't know why we, we don't know why we want to be healthy in the first place. So we end up just doing all of these random things because the culture and the industry tells us to do them. And then it's like, why am I doing these? And then we quit. And so that's the first mistake. And, and the remedy to that is to get vision for why you want to be healthy, not short term things like, oh, I want to look good. I don't want to be fat. I don't want to have all this stuff. Uh, you know, again, there can be a short-term aspect. Of course, we want to look good, but those are secondary things. Get a primary vision of where you want to be in the future and your business and your life and your family and what your health is going to have to look like to be that future version of yourself. Get a vision of why you want to be healthy and then just work it backwards to see what you need to do in the day today. So that's the first mistake that I see uh, pretty much pretty much everyone making. <laughs> and so that's number one. Number two is, this is a really big one too, that literally everyone makes. Uh, and everyone gives excuses. Even some of my clients, I have to like knock it off. Uh, but, but they think that they're too busy right now, that this season is too crazy. There's too much going on. I got these, these deals that are going on and it's just this season. And it's just, but once this is done, once I'm through X, Y, and Z, once I hire this person, once it's after the holidays, what, whatever, there'll be this perfect time where the heavens are going to open up and everything is going to align and, and being healthy is just going to be easy. And then we tell ourselves that like year after year after year after year. And it's like this chronic, like being too busy and not making time. You, you will never find the time to be healthy ever period. There's never going to be time in your schedule to, to, to be healthy. What you will have to do if you want to be healthy is 
you will have to make time. And so what I help people do and what I advise you to do is to put the first things first. If your health is a priority, but you're not fitting those things into your schedule first, because what most people do is they put everything in their schedule. They have everything in their week. They let people, you know, book access onto their calendar. And then they try to fit in their workouts and family time and all the, all the most important stuff around that rather than plugging the most important things into their schedule first and then scheduling everything around that. They, they focus on the short-term intensity of the season rather, the long ter- rather than the long-term endurance and consistency over time. There will never be a perfect time ever. And so ask yourself the question. The remedy for this is to ask yourself the question, how do you know? How do you know that there's going to be a perfect time to take care of yourself? Because there probably isn't going to be. The chances are once you get through this season, something else is going to come up. And it's good busy. It's like you're making stuff happen. Your business is growing. All this stuff is going on. You have more kids, whatever it is. There's always going to be something. And so we have to make time for the things that are important. That's mistake number two. Pretty simple. Uh, Number three is... They try every shiny new thing, hoping that something will get them quick results. The key word with this mistake is quick, is trying to do things fast. Quick and hasty results never last, ever, period. If we try to get things quick and we shortcut the process, we'll feel good right now we may look better right now. We may look like we got stuff together, but in a year and six months and 20 years from now, we won't have the foundation built. So I like to give the example of building a house, like, or, or even a bigger building. Like, have you ever driven past a, um, have you ever driven past a building where it's like, they've been digging that hole into the ground for six months. What are they doing? And then and then you drive past it like a week later and the whole like skyscraper is built. And you're like, what the heck happens? Because the foundation takes the longest to build. You got to dig deep. You got to do the right things in the right sequence in order to get lasting results. So you have to build that foundation. So don't go from every new fun, shiny thing that's new and fun and gets you quick results and the new diets and the, quit all that. Get back to the simple things that are going to help you get to where you want to be not 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 just right now but in the future uh, as, as well so don't look for the hasty results look for how this is going to impact you 10 15 20 30 years into the future so that's number three number four is they focus on doing instead of being they focus on adding more things to their checklist working harder right i get it I, I, i'm like a striver i just want to get stuff done i can i can just work harder if i can just kill it i and it's so it's so harmful to us because if you work harder at the wrong things you're really just getting farther from your goal in a lot of the ways right and so we have to focus on who we want to be remember that vision that future version of ourselves who are we called to be what are we what are the people that we're called to impact how are we supposed to serve our family in the future, in our 60s, 70s, 80s, right? Like, how do we want to leave that legacy? Who do we want to be? And then act like that person, right? Do we want to be the person in the future who has to walk around with the cane and who has issues and joint pain all the time or has to go to the hospital all the time or has to, you know, has to, when your grandkids go over to your house, you, they, they see your 50 different pill bottles and they worry about you all the time. Like, who do you want to be? What example do you want to set for the next generation and be that person, take small steps towards that person every day so that in the future you can become them rather than just trying to do a bunch of random stuff. Because here's the thing, here's, here's what I want you to take away from this, this mistake number four. Your health is not about you. Your health is primarily about others. It's not about how people can perceive me, how I look to others, how, how, um, how I can feel about myself primarily. Again, I want to look good for my wife. I want to, you know, duh, but those are secondary. Your health is about how you can serve others in the best way 
possible, whether it's your customers, your family, your friends, whatever that looks like. So that's mistake number four. Mistake number five is this. They don't count the opportunity cost. We've all heard of opportunity cost, right? Like there's, there's a, a cost of doing something when you should be doing something else, right? So, you know, we think of, we think of marketing or we think of, you know, taking a speaking event where we could be making more money here or over the long run or whatever it is. And so with our health, a lot of people that I talk to who are business owners, business leaders, it's like, you guys are successful. Like you can figure it out on your own hundred percent. Like if you wanted to do all the research and you wanted to do all the programming for yourself and figure out what they eat and trial and error it over a period, you might be able to do that over a period of a couple of years. I'm sure you could. I did. And, but here's the thing. Should you do that? Because some of the best entrepreneurs, some of the best business leaders know that they have to stay in their lane. No, they, they, they need to stick to the things in their wheelhouse and delegate and outsource everything else. I'm horrible at marketing. Just like, just a horrible ad. I don't know how to do Facebook ads to save my life. Like I just, I, 0% chance I'm going to, do I need to have an understanding of it and learn some about it and understand what the gist of, yeah, of course we need to know. We don't need to just do things blindly and just expect to just do whatever someone, but we, we need to understand it, but I'm not going in and trying to do that stuff myself because first of all, I'm not going to get the results and I'm going to spend a ton of time doing this. That's not in my wheelhouse, not getting results when I could be doing things in my wheelhouse, making way more money, having way more impact and not hating my life. Right. And so we don't count the opportunity cost. How much money are you making or are you not making trying to do all this little stuff in your health that may or may not be working when you get outsourced that to someone else, me or someone else that, you know, there's a lot of people in the health industry. When you get outsourced that out and see an increase in every area of life because you're putting all of your time into the things that actually matter and that are in your wheelhouse. Don't do the things that you could do because we could do anything. Do the things that you should do and you're going to go way farther for way longer. And, and, and the last thing I'll say on this point is what you sow is what you will reap. So I see a lot of coaches, a lot of of business owners, leaders, all that stuff out there saying, invest into me, buy my program, do all of this stuff, you know, and they're saying the same thing that I'm saying to you. And then they're not investing in outsourcing the things that they're telling them to do. And it's like, you're a hypocrite, <laughs> right? Like if I, I'm not, I'm not going to hire someone to, I, I hire people to do my marketing. I hire coaches who have been there. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. And, and it's because I don't, I need that. We need that community. We need to have that in our lives. And so if you are telling someone else to do something that's not to outsource something to you, that's not in their wheelhouse so that you can help them, but you yourself are not doing it, you are a hypocrite. And I know that's kind of harsh. And I know you're like, I don't like this guy very much, but we have to examine ourselves and see where those areas of pride are in, um, in our lives and get those out, get the help we need so that we can stay focused on everything that we need to move our life forward. So that's mistake number five. I know that that was a, uh, a little bit of a knock you upside the head, but <laughs> I want to speak the truth. I want to help you guys. And so I hope those points were helpful um, to you and just opening up your mind. Again, don't watch this training and go say, wow, that was cool. And then dart and just think about everything else that you have to do. Take, set some time aside, five minutes. Look over the, look over the points, watch the training, look over the points and just say, what of these am I doing? It could be one. It could be all five, honestly. Like it, it could be really reflect and look at how you can grow in each of these areas. And your business is going to skyrocket. Your family is going to you're going you're gonna to be way more present with your family. So you're going to be able to leave way better of a legacy. And so 
I'm just glad I was able to share this stuff with you guys. I love impacting and it's just something that's really fun. So, yeah. Thanks, Ashton. That was uh, really powerful. And um, you're right about every one of those points is we, we don't prioritize our health enough as entrepreneurs and it just, it ends up, it may not be costing you right then, but it's going to cost you not just, not just money, but it's going to cost you a lot of things. If you're, if you're, if you don't make it a priority and make time for it, I, I I'm totally on board with that. So. Yeah. dude. Awesome, I mean, I'll, I'll say this lastly too. My, my wife is an ICU nurse. And so some of this stuff hits home for me because she'll come home and she'll, she'll have a rough day because she sees a 50, 55, 60 year old husband, you know, die for things that are totally preventable because they didn't take care of themselves. And she has to see the wife sink down in the hallway, breaking down. And it's like, man, like, I I hate that for people, you know, like, I hate that people have to walk again. Life happens, right? There's things that we can't control. But it's like, for things that are preventable, for the most part, you know, as much as we can do, as much as we can steward our body and take care of what we have to, to avoid and to not have that in the future to where you're, you know, and even before that, like, I mean, not having to worry, not having your kids and your grandkids to have to constantly worry about you. And, you know, we think about, oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good right now. I'm, I'm feeling good. I don't have this. And so it's like, we get this tunnel vision for where we're at right now but we don't see that what got us here may not be what's going to get us to the, to the future. You know, the things that we have right now that are okay in this season could be insufficient for future seasons. And so, you know, I'll just leave you guys with that reminder of like, man, I I hate seeing that for people. And I don't ever want to have to see that for any of the people in your group, uh, for the people that you lead to. So, yeah, man. Uh, One thing I was going to say is if anybody has questions, it, to post them in the comments below. Unfortunately, we normally do this as a Facebook Live, um, but Facebook was being weird today. So we decided to go ahead and just record it. So it's it's coming up later in the group. So if you have questions for Ashton around your health, and I think even if, you, if it's on a more personal basis, you'd be open to them DMing you. Yeah. Okay. Totally. I, I just want to yeah, make I'm sure gonna... before I say that, it's okay. I just want to make sure because some people are so guarded with their their current state of health that they don't want to just ask a question right out on on social media so i thought that might be a good um a good avenue for them just to reach out to you on in a dm or but if it's just a general question around health uh definitely post that in the comments and ashton will see that because he's going to be tagged and he's in the group so um how else can someone reach out to you if if they want to reach you um for further information on what you do and how you can help them honestly man just biggest way is probably just dm me dm me on facebook i mean you'll see my name on the post just go and just hit send a message that's probably the easiest obviously i have a business email it's hello at glory to glory fitness.com so that's pretty simple as well but yeah if, if you have any questions i might i might have i mean I, we have so many different resources that we've done resources that we've done for, for clients or for free training so you know if you do have a specific question that's a little bit more sensitive yeah like just shoot me a message. I'll either have some good advice or I'll have a, a, you know, a good resource that's specific to, to what you're dealing with. So would love to help any way I can. That is awesome. And remember, as entrepreneurs, we need to take care of your health and um, in order to keep pushing forward. Thanks so much, Ashton. And uh, I look forward to connecting again at some point. Yeah, brother. It's been awesome. All right. Bye.